it's your girl Shalane. and i'm back today with another video in today's video y'all are gonna go shopping with me at marshall's now every january marshall's have a red and a yellow tag clearance sale guys this has been going on forever and i mean items go as low as one dollar so not quite 49 cents like ross but one dollar still make me holla okay now first we're going to start off with the shoes and i'm not even going to lie like there was not many shoes to pick from so i'm not going to show really the tags because most of them were still like 19 $19, $23. And I mean, it just wasn't a good fit for me. It wasn't my style. But I mean, if you want some of these shoes or you think they're cute, you can see that they have some Toms on sale. But yeah, it looks like somebody already had got to the shoes before I was able to get there as well as the purse section. So we're just going to go ahead and skip that because um couldn't find anything. Now, next, we're going over to the nails because people have been posting that they've been able to find press on nails for as low as a dollar. And I mean, like the kiss nails. These are four dollars and they had all different types of designs. You had like your holiday designs. You also had like yellow, but these will go as low as one dollar and pay attention because you're seeing a lot of the red tags. The red tags is like the first markdown and then the yellow tags is like the last markdown. So these are $3, but then it will go down to probably a dollar. And so like this is $20, it may go down to about $10 or $8. It just depends. Now they had a lot of holiday gift sets, especially when it comes to like your um, nail polish and then like anything in doing with beauty at all. So you can see here nail polish was six dollars but these items once again how many beauty sets do you need after the holiday season now one thing i will tell you like when it comes to this portable fan dryer some of the boxes can be a little bit beat up this was only three dollars what i have done is if i'm going to buy something and the packaging just doesn't look as well put i'll take the item out and go ahead and put it like in a gift basket so that way they don't see you know it's just a little bit janky okay next we're headed over to the soaps now they had all different types of soaps for as low as two dollars some of them had like the holiday scents so like you know your apple your cinnamon and then some of them were just your regular like oatmeal soaps as well and then they also had like hand lotions as well as hand soaps for four dollars three dollars this is not necessarily a bad deal but i would definitely wait for that next markdown it's not something that i would need to have unless you like a certain scent um but yeah i would say i would this is me i would leave it but let me know in the comments below is there a certain scent or hand wash or hand soap that you enjoy purchasing from like tj maxx or marshall i'm not really that picky so when it comes to that I don't care too much now they also had like um bombs or lotion bombs or body butters as well four dollars and fifty cents but it looks like to me that some people have been coming in and purchasing these items at regular price so you can see here there's a lot of red tag stickers that will go once again to another markdown some of the things you want to look at is definitely like your holiday items because those are going to be obviously the first thing that's going to be marked down right a lot of stores are trying to get rid of this holiday inventory we got valentine's day coming up and who wants inventory to sit on their shelves for another 10 11 months not i said the cat all right so moving along on the end caps a lot of them still have more gift sets as well these are nail polishes and i mean guys think outside the box like think about your daughters your nieces um even some of you know my seasoned seniors or senior citizens you can take these items pull them apart make easter baskets out of them you can actually do like a nail kit and give it to a senior home where you put like a nail file in there a nail polish so you know there's some little things that you can do as well now this was cute for three dollars it's a brush and a beauty blender i thought that would be a nice gift and then for this one it was just some bandages which, you know, if you just want to be, I guess, fashionable, you can put these in your purse. They're, they were $4. And then you have people that went in and pulled things out of a gift set, Versace cologne. There was so much makeup. And I mean, you had like BH Cosmetics, you had Becca. And so a lot of your high-end or name brand makeup, it was in these uh, boxes on here. And it ranged anywhere from like $5 to... I would say about $15 depending on what it was. But this was the steal to me. These gift sets that I'm showing you. So they were $3 and this is a lip gloss set. It's still intact. It looks great. This is another 
eye makeup collection three dollars still intact looks perfect you can take this right now put it together for some relatives your children valentine's day coming up go ahead and put them something and have it there so let me know like when i was growing up my mom would have something for us for valentine's day for easter like she always complained that she was always purchasing us something but i would have loved like a lip gloss set and you know i mean when we wake up on valentine's day we had our own gifts so i guess we were like her valentine's my dad didn't buy it for us but my mom did crazy right but let me know if you do that for your children as well and i mean they had everything guys they had mugs and on the other side of the clearance right there were more items and this was just anything from lotion to toothpaste but it was picked over and they had like eye mask as well so there are red tickets galore like here's a red ticket there's a red ticket everyone gets a red ticket my darling okay so i'm telling you now this is definitely a deal that you want to shop and i know a lot of people are going to ask me how long does this sale go on right usually i've seen them go into well into february with the sale but honestly once it gets to that yellow tag a lot of people are starting to purchase items at one dollar two dollars so you really can't beat that and you can see it's kind of been already picked over and we're like in unusual times right because people have a little bit more money now um and so people are buying before it can even go to clearance as well so i don't know a few years ago if you check out some of my videos on my main channel there were like shower curtains that you can find for two dollars and i mean you can find a uh, full sheet gift sets as well for one dollar two dollars that time is gone now here are some socks as well that they have for three dollars these socks were a little bit very thick for my liking so i'm gonna leave those and then they also had like pajama sets this one is by rachel zone and this was eighteen dollars as well so i mean you can still find pajama sets now this i thought was like super cool it's the work at home gift set and it had like your slippers it had a video call bingo and so it's kind of like when you're on zoom for your job it was like you know mark here if someone phone goes off during the zoom call it also had a water bottle for five dollars that's a cute little gift to give away as well so you guys will understand that i am always trying to give away something or purchase something for somebody and just think about other people besides myself i have been very blessed and i understand everyone can't do that but sometimes when you're out here shopping guys if you can just grab something for someone else because you never know how it may make their day and i mean it's only like three or five dollars but the impact that you may have from that one item is priceless right I sound like a MasterCard commercial. All right, so moving along, they had pajamas as well as this was some of the furniture. Now, furniture has not been doing that well in my Marshalls, and that's because they just don't have trucks like that. So here and there, they put out a little bit of pieces, but um, it goes just as quick as they put it out. But then now we're going over to the seasonal aisle, and this is where they had like gift boxes and chocolate and then they even had like some potpourri so it looks like the theme here is like three dollars and you can see the yellow tickets are on there and then you have more just little gift boxes if you're going to need these things for next year definitely go ahead and grab them and pick them up and store them away as well but i mean like this little deer it's not enough to put together something so now you're just gonna have to like buy little pieces and kind of have like that color theme to make everything work or come together next year for the holiday season if you don't want to spend full price so here they had some martha stewart uh, garment pins as well these were five dollars and then as i kept on looking they had this which was two dollars and it looks like it was just some more ornaments as well this entire aisle now this i'm gonna grab <laughs> i'm sorry i i just gotta grab this it's a ray dunn full sheet set for eight dollars and fifty cents you know what i'm gonna go ahead and put this in my cart because i will definitely give this away to my church members probably use it on myself in our full size bit but white goes with anything now that was one dollar and it was just like some stickers as well as they had like these little um i'll call them like sauce plates um but they were flamingo all the way they look like they've been here probably since the summer but this is a great item you can use for spring and if you're a content creator i would buy things like this for two dollars because when i take pictures 
um, on Instagram. These are great little props to have and just bring that whole theme home. You know, if you want to put together and for two dollars, you can't beat that as well. So when you're going to these deals, if you're not purchasing something for someone else, if you're not purchasing it for your household, think about your business. Can you give you know, can you do things if you're a content creator? How would these items work for you as well? Or maybe if you're going to take like family photos or you're going to the beach or maybe you're taking a road trip. Can you buy these items and use them at a later date? So don't just think about like hey, oh, what can I do now? You know, think future. Now, they also had candles on sale. And these candles, some of them smelled great. But to me, still $8 and $10 for a candle on clearance. I'm sorry, ma'am. I just cannot do it. Because normally, you can find candles for $5.99, $6.99. But I get it. These candles are a lot larger. So I guess I better quit just being frugal. All right, so moving along, not only did they have candles on sale, but they had plants on sale as well. So everything, like nothing is exempt in this sale, guys, okay? So you have plants here, and then you have these little plants that you can take to your office. You can just put them, you know, around your kitchen, little knickknacks, and they were like $5, $10, $15, but it's a whole greenery out here, and put some of this stuff in your bathroom. Everyone is about self-care these days. Grab you one of those candles, grab you a plant, you know, light it, have, you know, a bath bomb, and then you are good to go. Like, you got to set the mood, okay? We're in 2022. We've been this pandemic thing for the past two years. You got to make your home feel like a sanctuary, like, like a peaceful vacation, all right? So not only did they have the plants on sale, but they also had these wreaths as well, which was as low as $5. That one is just not that cute to me. But I wanted to show it as well. And then they had these little ones as well that were $8. And then they also had pictures on sale as well. So if you want to, you know, kind of remodel or redecorate, you can possibly find some good photos or some good wall art to put on there. But for me, I didn't need any of these items. And... It's just not my taste at all. But I didn't go through all the items and move stuff from behind as well. So, you know, you just got to pick and choose, but you can find some of these items. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you a tidbit, right? Some of these wall arts that you see here, a lot of times when these items don't sell on clearance, they will donate them to my local thrift store. And I kind of know what thrift stores they're going to. And then I'll just sometimes go and get it from the thrift store if I want it that bad, if I'm willing to wait, right? Because there's... You know, there's a lot of logistics in this, but a lot of times when items don't sell, you can get them directly from the thrift store as well. So keep that in mind. January and February is the time to go ahead and be shopping your local thrift store because, um, yeah, that's where the deals be at. Now we are at over by the glasses and here you can find like champagne glasses and wine glasses and these are as low as $6 as well. And then I think they had um, these back here, which were like $13 or $14 as well. And not bad. I mean, you can grab these glasses, guys. And once again, wrap them up or have a little get together, you know, at your home. Less than 10 people. You know what I mean? And um, just have some, you know, a nice adult time. Matter of fact, you can have time for the girls. Look at this game. Now, this game was a little bit wild. If you have been on any of my main channel lives, you know that I love a good game. And so I was thinking about getting this one, but it was more for your girls and it had you doing like crazy stuff. But here's just another in cap with more items on clearance. So we have more candles um, and these are like votive candles. These were three dollars. Those three dollars for those three. Once again, I'm going to just go ahead and leave those as well because uh, I don't know if I want to get some more candles for my church members. Now, I thought this was a great gift, especially for those that are getting ready to graduate and how where you can put your diploma, you can put their tassel. So it was kind of like a degree frame as well. Guys, you got to just be on it, right? You just got to think about it. But here they also had these um, cards. Now, these cards were $1 which I'm probably thinking would be a great stocking stuffer or maybe a birthday gift or just items to have that you can throw in a basket for a road trip or a family game night. 
And then they have planners as well. I checked this planner and even though it's $2, it doesn't expire until June of 2022. So you can still get it and you have about, I guess, six months to use it. But then you're going to need another planner in July, right? So I was like, mm, should I get it? And I decided to leave it and they really didn't have any planners for this year. So I'm gonna have to go to Target. Now, keep in mind when you start getting some of these things on the clearance, you want to do an inspection of it because sometimes things are open, things are missing, it's broken, it's cracked. Not all the time, but it can happen. So I just want you to make sure you do like your due diligence and make sure that everything looks good as well. Now, this planner it doesn't look too good, but I think I'm going to grab it because I don't have a planner for 2022. And normally I love to do that, right? But I don't know. Oh, I am buying this. I am buying this. The twerk game. Yeah, it's not what you think. Okay, it. this is I'm buying this because I'm going to grab that game for my church. And you don't understand. It's, it's not what you think. We're not going to be twerking in church. I'll explain it probably in another video. But if you've seen it on Amazon, then you know exactly. And this would be hilarious. So I'm going to grab that. And then they have more planners as well that you can purchase. Um, just a great variety of items that you can find. So I was definitely surprised that there was still a lot of things to choose from. But I had, as I was getting ready to walk to check out, I seen that they had a lot of the clothes on sale and they had the clothes on sale for men, women, and children. I decided to stop by the children just because I know a lot of my subscribers have kids or grandkids as well. And I mean, they had items $3, $8, um, $7, $4, and all these yellow tags. This is a cute little Timbaland outfit. But moving along, they had um, Champion, they had Nike, there was all different types of name brand clothing that you can find. They also had items that weren't name brand, but it was just cute, you know, so it just depends. Remember, children grow like weeds. And so if you want to go grab some three, four dollar outfits, why not grab those so they can just go out and play and just have a good time. And so as you can see, this whole rack is pretty much like seven dollars, but it's also all of them are marked on clearance. They had things from like Carter, um, they had Nike, Puma, um, Under Armour. I mean, there were so many options to choose from. I was like, whoa, and I don't even have a kid, but I was just looking at these items and I thought they were cute. And let me know if you thought that this was a good deal or not. But if you are in need of some clothing items, especially it's cold here <laughs> right now and it's snowing, this is a great deal to just go pick up some items, you know, spend about $50 get you get seven, eight items that'll be able to last them until spring or summer as well. That way you don't have to spend that much money. And yeah, this is all we have, guys. This is today's shopping trip. Let me know. Have you participated in this sale? Do you like these items? I found some good deals myself. Let me know what you think about the video. Should I keep them coming? And yeah, I will talk to you guys later, Gator. And thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Share it, share it, share it. Guys, we got to get our, we're on our way. Like we are on our way.